What's up y'all, it's ATP Audio Engineer Dalton and I'm here today with a video to show y'all how to properly export vocals when you're using Logic Pro. I'm assuming that if you're watching this video, that means that you're looking to purchase a mix from us. And that's why I'm making this video today so that we can ensure we get what we need. And also for GarageBand users, this video will be pretty close to how you guys would have to do it as well. And it just might have some differences in the buttons and the wording, but the general idea will be the same. So that if you are a GarageBand user, this video will also be beneficial to you. So right here, I have a song by ZKG. Um, titled Feeling Me. This song is fully mixed and mastered already. You can see um, I have all the chops in here. Um, I got some pans going on. What I'm going to do is I'm going to switch this to hook main vocal just so I have this audio track standing out and knowing that this is the track that the vocal I'm going to be exporting is on. So then what you do is you mouse over to that vocal and you double click on that. If you have that vocal selected, you will see a white bar appear on the top. And then what you got to do uh, is you go over here to file, scroll down to export, and you will see one region as audio file. When you click on one region as audio file, this window will pop up. Um, so some things that you'll notice, you'll see the save format. Um, we need that to be in wave. If the vocal file isn't in wave format, we aren't able to access the aspects of the vocal that we need to make it sound the best that we can. The bit depth can stay at 16 bit. Um, Logic should have that preset at 16 bit. And if you do have some pre-mix on there, uh, that is fine, but just make sure that you select that bypass effect plugins. That way the vocal is completely raw and we have the space to do what we need to do. So that is everything that you need to do to export the vocal properly, which would mean that you're completely set and your vocals are ready to be mixed, obviously as long as the recordings themselves are proper. Um, and then one last thing that I do personally, this is something very specific to Logic. Um, if you see right here where it says pattern, it has selected region name. Uh, so when you save that, it's going to save it as some kind of wacky name and it's going to be kind of tough to find in your files. If you notice where you type and you change the text right to the left, it says custom. And with it saying region name in the pattern, it's not going to save it as that custom text that you put in that box. So what you got to do is you got to actually click on custom and then it will highlight it. And then you drag it in right next to region name. And then what you got to do is you got to drag your mouse and take your cursor and put it right between the two and then backspace so that you delete region name. And then once you hit export, it'll export it with that custom name. And always be aware of where you're selecting the document to be saved to, that way you can find it. And then once I save it and I click on my documents, you'll notice that it's in there saved with that custom name, Zay Feeling Me Hook. You can right click on it and then on the pop-up window, you can go to share and you can hit mail. Or what you can do is you can go to the website of your email and you can start a new message in there. And somewhere in that message box, you will see a little paper clip or some sort of attachment logo. When you click on that, it'll bring up your finder, which allows you to go into your documents and select all the vocal files that you need to send. So now that you guys know how to properly send us some vocals, I'm excited to hear the songs that you guys are sending in. And I also want to thank you guys for watching today. Peace.